Hello everyone. 2022 is already here and in full swing. January is half over already and we are already looking forward to February, the month of love. So when February rolls around, I know I already start thinking about what am I gonna wear for Valentine's Day? Maybe you're like me, maybe not. But today we're gonna I'm going to show you several outfits, some I've worn in the past, some I'm going to wear this year, and let's get started. Hello, my name is Tanya Stevens, and I'm the face behind 50 is not old. I want to welcome you to my channel. I hope here you will find something of value for you to help you with your confidence in your appearance, whether it's in fashion or in beauty. And be sure to like and subscribe, ring the bell if you enjoyed this. So let's talk about Valentine's Day. Now I am 61 years old, so celebrating Valentine's Day like I did when I was younger is not something I, I do anymore. Uh, Joe and I very seldom go out big elaborate meals, uh, no candlelight dinners. <sighs> I doubt if I'll be getting roses <laughs> or anything like that. Instead, usually what I get for Valentine's Day is chocolate covered strawberries, which are my favorite. I love, 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 love chocolate covered strawberries. But I do like celebrating Valentine's Day, which I consider just celebrating love in general. It doesn't matter if it's love of your husband, love of your children, love of your friends, or love of your fur baby. It doesn't matter. You can celebrate the month of love in any way you want. So I'm going to show you some outfits that I usually wear and don on for Valentine's Day. Now, sometimes with Valentine's Day, I may not feel like wearing full out hearts everywhere, hearts, hearts, hearts. Sometimes I just wanna, you know, like maybe have on some red, whether it's a red top, whether it's a red lip, <laughs> or whether it's jewelry, which is hearts. These are red, but I could have just plain hearts. That to me is a way that I'm able to celebrate. It looks festive without necessarily being strictly for Valentine's Day. That's one great thing about Valentine's Day though, is that hearts are appropriate any time of the year. So if you wanna wear hearts in June, wear hearts in June, it doesn't matter. If you wanna wear red, wear red anytime you want. But for Valentine's Day, I usually start wearing bits and pieces of red, little you know, t-shirts or whatever that has hearts on them or says love on them or something for, well, when February 1st rolls around. That's when I'm gonna start wearing it. It gives me two weeks to celebrate in the festive style. So the first outfit I'm gonna start with is this red jacket. It's old, in fact, I'm not even sure if I still have this jacket, but wearing a red jacket with a white button down and blue jeans, you can wear this any time of the year, but if you wear it around February in Valentine's Day, it just looks festive. You can choose to put anything heart with it or not, but just the color red will look festive. And as always, I put on a red lip when I'm wearing my red uh, outfits for Valentine's Day. The second one is also a red blazer. It's a little different style, and this one has a love graphic t-shirt underneath it. So the graphic is white t-shirt and it just says love on it. That works out great. And instead of blue jeans with this one, I wore gray wash jeans. You don't have to wear the same red, white, and blue all the time. You can mix it up just a little bit. And for this look, it is also a red blazer, but I put a leopard print top underneath it. It looks a little more dressy than the other two outfits, but it's still festive looking, perfect for a date night for Valentine's Day. And with that one, with 
the leopard print. I still wore blue jeans, but it just gives it a di little different look. It's still a little more dressy, even though it is casual. And for the final outfit with a red blazer, this one is a red velvet blazer. And it also has a white graphic tee, but the tee has lots of little hearts all over them. And I love this look. I think it looks great. I have black jeans on with it. It's just show you how you can wear all different color blue jeans with your Valentine's Day looks. And if it, wearing red blazer is too bold or too draws attention to yourself too much, you might wanna go with navy like the one I have on here or the one I have in this photo. Once again, it is navy. That one is a double-breasted blazer versus the one I have on today, which is a single-breasted, but I still have on a red top and blue jeans with the look. I think this look is very dressy looking. It's perfect for if you have to wear to work and you don't want to be too Valentine's Day, you just want to be festive, then wearing the navy with the red top is very festive looking. If you don't work and you enjoy casual clothing instead, then why not try a denim jacket? This denim jacket is with paired with a pair of black jeans and a black tee. So the black tee has tiny little hearts all over it. If you're not up close, you can't even see that it's hearts, but it's colorful. And that is just a whole nother way of celebrating and looking festive in your clothing. Some people don't even like wearing jackets. So if you don't like wearing jackets, maybe you live in a warmer area, so a jacket is too heavy for you to wear. You don't have to. You can wear something similar to this heart sweater. It is very lightweight, and I love the look of this sweater because even though it is very festive and very Valentine's Day looking, I love the way the hearts are situated on this sweater. This is a sweater that is actually in store now, so I will link to it, but I love how festive it looks paired with the black pants. It is very dressy, perfect for wearing out uh, whether it's your husband on a date night, meeting some gals for a lunch, for a Galentine's Day or whatever. I love this look. I think it's great. And you talk about casual. This is about as casual as you can get. This look is actually a pajama top. And I think it's cute when just done the one side tuck, which is very popular right now, and put it into a pair of... Um, Boyfriend jeans, so these are large, they're baggy, they're more loose looking, very casual looking, and throwing on a pair of sneakers. I think that look is very cute. Run around town means, look at me, I'm celebrating Valentine's Day. <laughs> and the last look I'm gonna show you is not red. So you don't have to wear red. One of my favorite Valentine's Day looks is a gray sweater with a big heart on it that is in like dark charcoal sequins. Love that, I love, I wear it all the time, so I don't just wear it for Valentine's Day. But this look is pink, and when I say pink, it is hot pink. Look at these hot pink pants. These are so cute, and I took, I paired it with a um, denim ruffled top, which you can wear, of course, year round. It just breaks up the look from the hot pink and the pink cardigan. So the cardigan is kind of an ecru, it's not a true white, and then the pink hearts on it. I just think this is so cute, so festive, not red, but very, very Valentine's Day looking. Anyway, I don't know if you choose to celebrate Valentine's Day, how you choose to, but these looks can be worn any time of the year, not just at Valentine's Day. And I hope you enjoy yourself and have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Just remember, age is an attitude. Keep yours young. <laughs>